Welcome to the daily crypto news. Uh, we are August 7th and uh, I decided to do a three to four minutes uh, video to just uh, tell you about the important news of the day uh, so you can listen to it while you go to work or jog or do whatever you like to do. So today uh, the total market capitalization of all the cryptocurrencies sit uh, north of 363 billions with Bitcoin a bit south of uh, the 11,800. So what news do we have today? Uh, during the night uh, Bitcoin uh, was really close to uh, 12k and uh, actually retraced a bit since uh, the the new highs it uh, it had trouble to 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 pass uh, this uh, resistance we also have a lot of uh, different uh, momentum and people saying that uh, this is just the beginning of a new bull run and that people should expect bitcoin to go much higher because of the inflation situation especially the money supply inflation that we are all aware of uh, driven by the fed or the ecb or basically any uh, central bank and on the other side we have all the interest rates almost all of them uh, going towards zero meaning that uh, there is no counter incentive to own bitcoin even if it's not a dividend generating asset as in any case all the safe havens I would say generating just a little bit of yield uh, do not exist uh, for the foreseeable future. We had also some uh, really interesting news uh, about the Ether options, so mostly on a terabyte, terabit, I don't know how to pronounce this, but you can see the jump from let's say not even 100 million in, in end of May 2020 to more than 400 million as of yesterday most of it as you can see with the red uh, graph is traded on terabit so you have a lot of open interest and a lot of people actually betting large amount of money on uh, eth 2.0 as they call it and uh, with a testnet launch just a few hours well, let's say almost days ago this these are quite a big uh, directional uh, bets then what do we have we have uh, an analysis on uh, Cointelegraph about the DeFi token holders. So DeFi has been the new craze for the past weeks uh, of the crypto world. It's basically what set up this new uh, bull run over the past, let's say, one, two months. And uh, and this has been crazy because some tokens have been uh, performing uh, and, uh, and making gains of uh, four times, five times the initial, uh, the initial price. And this is something to definitely watch something also to be careful about not to fall into a FOMO or FUD and uh, and so let's look at, at this analysis basically it was quite surprising to me that when you look at Maker, Land, SNX, Compound, Kyber Network or basically all the biggest DeFi uh, platforms and tokens the top 10 holders hold the for the majority of them more than 50% of the outstanding tokens this actually, I was I was definitely not uh, thinking this was the case, as I thought it was more decentralized. This is something to be worried about, because it means if one of these big holders decide to just leave the platform because they're scared, because of any reason, because they've made great gains, it could definitely impact the price and the liquidity of uh, of these different tokens. What do we have? Uh, how do I earn cryptocurrencies through blogging? So a lot of people have been asking me, how much do you earn? How do you earn money uh, blogging? And so I decided to do a short post. So it's uh, across all the social crypto social medias where where I blog. So basically, I went uh, with a detailed analysis on uh, each platform that I'm using. So obviously, Hive. As it were, I was an old uh, Steamian that had to move to Hive at some point due to, you know, the drama with Justin Sun and all these things. So definitely Hive is one of my go-to platform. It's kind of complicated for a new user, but it's getting easier and easier thanks to an amazing community that keeps on developing new tools and new ways to just have fun. So we have a bunch of uh, blockchain, uh, Hive blockchain games on there. We have a bunch of bloggers on different topics, photos, food, crypto, finance, you name it. And you can also even earn some other tokens despite uh, uh, Hive, like uh, Leo token or CTP or many others, depending on the tribes you post in.
so definitely platform to to be on it's take uh, anyway I'll, I can uh, I think I will need to do a full episode on uh, this platform to explain to you all the different aspects and and quite interesting things we can do on there then there is publish sharks that I started to blog on two months and a half ago uh, it's basically a, a Quite cool UI. I think I can show you if I do this. Quite cool UI. You see, it's quite easy. There is one even of my post over there where you can go either through the cryptos you like. It's not only crypto, but let's say 90% of the content is focused on crypto. So you have all the, the posts as a community is posting and tagging different cryptos. And basically, you vote on, uh, on tipping tipping uh, users and by tipping them uh, you give them some rewards they are not coming from your own wallet they're coming from a pool of assets that the company uh, behind publishox can have acquired through the time and therefore they're just distributing it uh, to the different uh, different users meaning writers and readers you also get paid when you tip you choose which amount of the tip goes to yourself or to the writer so for now they're just paying in uh, BAT brevetation token Rupring, LRC and they just added Ethereum yesterday which which is quite cool to be honest like to have even if there are small tips of few cents they add up and at some point maybe uh, you would be able to have uh, I don't know maybe a 0 0.1 trend uh, is a platform that is uh, using points basically to reward uh, people writing or commenting uh, on the platform it uh, had uh, really stellar growth in uh, may end of may june of this year with a lot of new users and a lot of people abusing the system through different methods so the team kind of cleaned it out worked a bit on the ui on the hosting of the platform which which was quite slow at the time and now they're working on an app and on different things where they could leverage the community and uh, at the moment, it's nothing uh, great, but considering the fact that they really worked to get there, it, it, it was really horrible like a few months ago, to be honest. Now you have good content creators, you have a good team of curators, you have uh, the one app token they can use to promote, they're bringing advertisements, they're bringing a lot of things, apps, maybe a wallet, uh, a lot of things, they're leveraging a lot of the community. So I feel it, it, it could be something in the future and uh, and I, uh, I kind of trust Jeff that is a serial entrepreneur behind also a trust swap. I don't know in the long term, in the short term, I know at least is is working a lot on his projects. Then we have read uh, that cache that I discovered uh, not so long ago. It's basically the same thing. It's a platform where you blog and people reward you uh, with likes or comments on this thing. And depending on the level and the number of interactions you get, uh, you get a piece of the reward pool. The particularity of read that cache, as you can imagine, is that it's supported by Bitcoin Cash uh, fans and therefore all your rewards are paid in uh, Bitcoin cash. I forgot for the trend the uh, token that they reward you with are uh, one up called one up. Then we have the Steam blockchain of course. I will not go on. Uh, it, it, it used to be the home for all the hivers and now it's just a platform where I just cross post uh, to get some sense out. To buy more hive or more cryptos that i like then up on the daily crypto news we have chinese bank set to adopt blockchain powered forfeiting platform that's actually interesting so interesting because it's some kind of DeFi in some sense even if it's not decentralized i, I would call it maybe blo block fi blockchain finance so when you export goods usually you get uh, some kind of what they call uh, forfeiting forfeiting is a financing product so basically if i sell two millions of goods to the us i will get a, a two million payment through a financing guarantee that i will have to wait for six months to to, to get the time for this person in the US to receive the goods and to be sure that uh, they were in good quality or what we agreed on. The forfeiting allows me, basically, and what they would try to do with three of the biggest uh, Chinese banks, so China Citic Bank, China Mingcheng Bank, and Bank of China, what they try to do is make 
make it uh, on a blockchain that this forfeiting, this financing can go through the blockchain and this company exporting from China to, uh, to, to other countries could get the cash right away and the banks will take the risk of uh, the payment from the third party. Uh, the, obviously, there is a cut and there will be fees that the banks will uh, make these exporters pay. But this is quite uh, interesting. It could clearly work on the blockchain as the, it could be written in some kind of smart contract. It's a Chinese blockchain that they're trying to build on this specific topic. So it will be nothing like the thing we talk usually about, which, which are like decentralized and where uh, no uh, no single party has control over uh, the blockchain. What else do we have? We have a Bitmain delaying uh, the delivery of Bitcoin miners by three months. So the article is just telling us basically that there is a big fight, as you all know, between Jihuan, Jihan Wu and Mikri, Mikri Zan. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce uh, correctly the names. And that uh, this has been... Uh, there has been a lot of lawsuits between the two uh, co-founders of uh, Bitmain and that these uh, issues and these internal fights have uh, pushed deliveries uh, by up to three months. So basically people that have ordered uh, um, new um, Bitcoin mine and minor Bitcoin mining machines uh, in March will just have them maybe in September, October, so they, they made some kind of coupon to uh, to allow them, if they did not deliver in time, that the company could just use these coupons uh, to get uh, basically the money they lost. Basically all the mining money they would have lost if they will not have this delay, basically. Then we have uh, the calendar, but uh, you'll see this on my post. I'll put this in the in the links. But we had two interesting news uh, that came through the day and that I did not put in my uh, daily crypto news uh, written one um, in the morning. So we had the latest uh, waste ra ratings that puts uh, Ethereum ahead of Bitcoin. Uh, so Ethereum will be the, the best platform according to them. After we'll have Bitcoin, then Cardano, thanks to the Shelly uh, Shelly upgrade, and then Lycan. Uh, it's it's something to read, even if uh, I didn't agree all the time in the past with the uh, West ratings. Then we have a news that you need to be careful about: is Goldman Sachs that may launch its own stablecoin. So first of all, it's during an interview, Matthew McDermott, which is the head of digital assets, that said that they were looking into exploring. A stable com. It is like and like he, he specified it's still early day. Basically they're just trying to understand how would it work, what would they need to do to ensure that it was stable, the mechanism, just to know the big principle as they see this kind of uh, pro financial products develop all over the world. They would just like to make their own just to understand how it, how it works. Maybe how you can take advantage of it. I do not know. So this is it for the first uh, Daily Crypto News. Please tell me in the, uh, write in the comments what I could do better because I need to do better. And, uh, and I'll be happy to, to, to read them and to maybe try to improve for the, the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye. And they're open to Ethereum.